In this video, I'm going to show you how to inoculate grain bags with agar. To get to this point, you should first inoculate some agar with a liquid culture syringe or perform an agar transfer from a pre-existing plate. Keep in mind that once your agar plate is ready, you shouldn't leave it sitting around for too long before use as this increases the chance of bacteria or some sort of contamination growing on the plate. To begin with, carefully open your sterilized grain bag by pulling it apart from the outside to create an opening. If you're working in a still air box, avoid making such a large opening to minimize movement and minimize contamination risk. If you look at the screen now, in a still air box, I would probably stop here. Uh, that's about as much opening as you're gonna need. A small opening which you can drop in a fairly large segment of agar is ideal. As you can see here, making a large opening can be tricky and causes a lot of unnecessary movement as I try to fully open the bag. Assemble the sterile scalpel from its packaging. Cut a large square piece from the center of the agar plate. Don't go to the very edges because that's where you might get a little bit of contamination growing through any gaps in your agar plate or it's just more likely that you'll get a bit of contamination coming in on the outside where the inside of the plate meets the outside of the plate. You want to get a piece that's heavy enough for gravity to allow it to easily drop off into the bag without having to knock it, without having to like tap the edge of the bag or shake or anything. You want a fair sized piece where it'll just sli slip off due to gravity. If you're working in a still air box, close off the opening of the grain bag immediately using a zip tie. Don't worry about mixing the grains and the agar inside the bag just yet. You can do this later when the bags are all complete and everything is secure. Quick and minimal exposure is key in a still air box. And that's one of the main benefits of using a flow hood really is you can be a little bit more relaxed when it comes to exposing your work. However, it's still important to make sure that you're organized and you don't obstruct the airflow. Once the bag is sealed, you can move on to the next bag and then repeat the process. So, in short, open the bag, 
inoculate with the agar quickly make sure that the agar is heavy enough so that it just drops off the end of the syringe seal the bag straight away and then once you've completed all of your work inside of a still air box you will then use your hands to mix the agar into the grains <laughs>